So like many of us, I'm using this time here to catch up on the hobby, catch up on some new projects, catch up on that paint log. And I'm circling back around now that I've finished a lot of my Battletech miniatures. Actually, for the first time, all of my Battletech miniatures. I want to jump back into Chain of Command, World War II historicals, work on some new Germans, work on adding some tanks and armor and units to my Americans, position myself so that we're just ready to jump back into that time period. And GaddisGaming.com sent me some excellent, excellent World War II German miniatures. And we're going to kind of do an, un I was going to say unboxing, unbagging here, GaddisGaming.com. I'm going to put that link down in the info box. And we're also going to follow up on the build and paint, not only with the video, but over on my blog, figuring out, how we're going to base them, what we're going to do. And at this point, I think I'm going to start a second, a brand new German army. I'm going to base these guys differently. We're going to paint them up a little bit differently because I've got a uh, command squad here in chain of command. These would be senior officers, junior officers. We've got two groups of 10 man infantry. So those are going to be my groups. I just have to add a heavy weapons team, some machine gun teams, and we are ready to go. The the first thing that really impressed with me, metal. This is this is a big debate, right? Metals versus plastics. And while many companies put out amazing plastic miniatures, I I prefer I prefer metals. I think there's something to feeling the miniatures as you pick them up, as you move them around. That's that's my preference in gaming. So I was really excited to see that these guys came in metal because all of my World War II miniatures are um, plastic, mainly Plastic Soldier Company, um, a couple other third parties. So to start a metal miniature army, it just, it just has more heft. It has more feel to it. In terms of basing, I do have a number of washers that I can base these guys on. Um, historicals, there's no set base size. Pennies work. I might do them up on pennies. So we've got a mix of uh, rifle teams, riflemen. We've got some submachine guns in there mixed in. So actually these would be the junior officers. We'll do junior officer, junior officer. And we'll do these guys, senior officers. The detail's excellent. Excellent detail, excellent heft. Looks like three or four uh, different poses. I like that they have a, a number of different poses. Plastic Soldier Company kind of has three or four poses, which is enough just on the infantry. But when you're playing a medium-sized game, having that extra variety like these guys have, that's that's big because you want to mix them up and kind of um, push forth that narrative with how it looks. So they've got the gray coats, they've got the gear. Excellent, excellent. So next we're going to base these guys. We're going to base them up. I like to do the basing. I, you know, I'm curious. There's lots of ways to do this. I like to do the the basing first. So I'll glue these guys to washers or pennies. I'll take some clay, mix it with sand, and just kind of do the, the rough outline to hide the base. Then I like to prime everything, clean them up, prime them, paint them, and then do the bases, paint the bases, flock them, and detail it that way. I, I find it a little bit easier just in the overall process, especially when you get down to the boots and the, the footwear on it. So we're going to base these guys. Then we'll come back, part two, prime them, and we'll start painting them. And again, the links underneath this video to Gaddis Gaming, they have an entire line. They have an entire line of historical miniatures, World War II miniatures. And, and this, is the other, this is the other challenge right here. Um, my buddy Dave, who I primarily play historicals with, he has a massive, massive American army. And uh, looking to get the duality over it, I've been thinking for a long time 
of building a historical Japanese armor army. So that's that's tempting right there. I'm gonna go and check out on the site. We might we might have to do build a Japanese army also because you can never have too many armies. <laughs>